Hello everyone, and welcome to some uh, Boyfriend Dungeon. This game is loud in my ear, so I'm probably going to turn it down. Oh my god. Oh, I could change. I didn't know I could change the beverage. I'm going to keep Boba because I like that. I, be I don't remember where we are left off last time, but um, we are lesbian? We're sapphic. We're just going to say it's sapphic because there is a couple non-binary characters. At least there's one binary non-binary character that I want to romance. Um, let's check our phone or see where we're at. Because... Uh, we did the barbecue. Uh, Valeria wants us to check out the place. Sunder said, "Okay." <laughs> Isaac doesn't want an OG. Mom texts us. Eric's being creepy. Jonah is Fran. Rowan is. I love Rowan. He's so goth. I got pizza. Um. We need to level up some of our new weapons. Our new weapon friends. We need cloth. This is what our character looks like. Oh, go back to they, them. I think my character is incredibly cute, but maybe. Yeah, I like the dark blue. Oh, she tap back in. I'm just gonna run around the map to see what if anything is available for questing. Hello, Sunder and Rowan are talking. Alright, what do you have to trade for my moose? It's sulfate free, whatever that means. Hmm, whatever indeed. Here, have a look at my latest shampoo. It's good for feathers too. <laughs> the ingredients are written, the ingredients and recipe are written on the side if you're curious. Shake before using. Grapeseed oil? Rowan, are you sure this is for hair and not my lunch? The Castile soap portion is homemade and extremely, from extremely high quality olives. And the peppermint leaves were wildly pampered before tran being transformed into 
Quinta Essentia. You're not fooling me. This is just the ingredients for salad. <laughs> All living things need proper care. Perhaps your hair and salad have more in common than you think. Man. Oh. I hope you're not making that disgusting comparison as an insult. Hmm? On the one hand, if I ruin my hair, I'll have to go into hiding for a month. On the other hand, if I manage to level up my hair even a tiny bit, it'll make my year. It's really not a big decision, Sunder. Take it or don't. This has already taken too much time. What do you think, Cameron? Would you risk these luscious locks on this oily soup? My trust, Rowan. Uh, well, when you put it that way, I suppose I do too. Good point. It's okay, it's decided. I'll take it. Great, do that. Do you also want this beak polish Crowley's been enjoying lately? It might work well on your claws. I only trust professionals with these, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Do you need something to help with your, um... Smell? Nah, I like my cologne. But for the next month, I'm curious about your daily sunscreen regimen. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Until then. Sunder murmurs something warm in your ears. Well, but he mumbles so low you don't catch it. What? <laughs> he winks on his way out. Rowan seems puzzled by the exchange. You're reasonably powerful, and yet... I'm surprised you let a creature like that get so close to you. What about you? I take care of myself, but thank you for the concern. Speaking of which, I should probably revisit my protection wards if I'm indulging in curiosities. For that, my ancestors demand privacy. I'm sure you understand. I love you too, Crowley. They walked you to the door and proceed onward, disappearing around the back of the estate. You resume your afternoon walk. I love the little chibi aesthetic. I'm still afraid to go in there. So we're just going to go to the mall. I like Jonah. He's a sweetie. We're gonna go to five. Going down. Verona Mall. Fear of change. Oh! Ow. Oh heck, that's the wrong way. Out. We're fine. Oh god. Oh no. Whew. Feels good, man. Hell yeah. Cultist robes. Okay. 
Let's go this way. Yes, Jonah, we need stuff. And money, I'm broke. Yeah, let's take a break. I don't know if I've... I don't remember if I've done... Jonah's here, but we'll do it. Oh, I didn't even know you could go on the ice rink. That sure is a bunch of ice. Hmm. Where? Why are you looking at me? Do you want me to skate? Sure, I'll help you. I mean, I broke my leg ice skating as a teen trying to impress a cute boy, but... Maybe I could try again if I really, really want... Really went slowly and you didn't laugh. No pressure. Thanks, I appreciate it. If it's all the same to you, I'll play it safe. When you're as big as I am, falling can really hurt. Let's get back to it. Woo! I skate. Mm. Uh, this way. Oh, why can't I? What did? <sighs> yeah, it was hiding in the corner. Oh yes, fabric. We need that. I hate the TVs. The TV's the worst part. Okay, Jonah is maxed. Let's do your own. A symbol is powerful. It summons the essence of a thing, the ideal we all hold. Crowley, here is just a raven. What among millions? Yes, you are a pretty bird. You are my favorite raven. But you are not the idea of ravens. Whereas here, we have the idea of cats. Or one aspect. What does it depict for you? I think hunting. Rowan nods thoughtfully. They are them friend. Let us take strength from it, then, as we return to our monster hunting. Onward. Uh, TVs die! Oh no, ah uh, no, I'm a little trapped. <laughs> Did I just teleport it to a black hole?
Oh. It's, it's this way. Yeah, I'm not too worried about. Yeah, let's do Isaac. Oh, we're on floor seven. <laughs> Trying to remember how to play this game. I climb down to the darkness. Ooh, spooky. I gotta save up my money from the dungeon and stop getting defeated by the likes of you. They allow humans down here now? Pfft, I thought this place was exclusive. Hey, and chat for sale. Ah, it seems you're worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. We clothe we we buy clothes. As you wish. Stay safe out there. Okay, bye. Oh. Okay. Oh god, combos. Out of the car. <laughs> okay. Cabos. Light, light, heavy. Light, heavy, heavy. Challenge complete, we did it. Woo! Isaac waters the, wa watches the water f gently falling. It doesn't look gentle. Sometimes I wonder if the monsters came here because of the beauty. Even among the crass commercialism, there's something lovely and Ephor ephemeral about a fountain. To me, this is true spirituality. Enjoying a moment of light and water. Um, want to pray? No, no. I, but I can certainly appreciate beauty. Like you, I suppose. You spend a moment together in silent contemplation. Would you like to offer a gift? No, thank you. Eventually, you feel the moment pass and return to the dungeon rested. I'll give it a good home. Well, oh no. Please leave me alone. Oh god. I'm trapped. Oh no.
are so incredibly dead. Verona Mall, fear of change. Floor nine. Feels good. Oh, we got a key and a recipe. I did not see which one it was. But. Oh. No. I do not want to walk into the thing. I want to unlock this. Hello. There's someone we're talking to. You find a strange gadget. It fits into your hand smoothly, but you're not sure how to use it. You press the button and it flares to life. Whoa. Uh, we tell them what it, we know. Hi, Seven. You have an agent? See ya. I'm a bit overbooked lately, but you should- you- but you two should go without me. Seven leaves and you return to your exploration. I forgot Seven was down here. No fears to be found here at least. Isaac Eyes the massage chairs, considering. Hmm, these look acceptable. I ha I took a course in massage therapy long ago. I could give you a massage if you'd like. What would you prefer? The chairs. As you wish. I hope I wasn't too forward. <laughs> hope that wasn't too forward of me. Anyway, that way both can get a massage. You sit in the massage chairs and they begin to vibrate and knead your back. Too soon, it's over. You feel more relaxed. Now let's get back to the dungeon, shall we? Um. Damn, I'm slipping. God, the TV's but bigger! I hate them! Got him down! Got him down! Got him down! Got him down! Ooh, money! A thrilling victory.
Whew. I think I'm going to die here. Oh, maybe not. Ah, yes. Ah, ice skating. I haven't done this in years. Isaac ties up his skates and you start gliding on the ice. He holds out his hand. Skip alongside of him. When I was ten or so, my father took my family up to Canada for a winter. So we know what real cold was like. I mostly hated it, but there was a big frozen lake the kids all skated on. I felt so freeing to be alone out on the ice with just your thoughts. Or the friend I could trust. Isaac smiles. Maybe that's why I go into the joy dungeon with you. Thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks to you as well, my dear. Would you like to offer a gift? No. I don't want to look them up right now. We skate a bit longer before returning to the dungeon. Uh, let's see if we can find any bobas. Nope. Oh, this is where we die. Eh. Oh, heck. Whatever. Woo! Level 10. 11. 12. Nice. Go home. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. As you leave the dunge, I don't mean to overthink things, but something's not right. Why would that sword have slept for weeks? I don't, I don't know. Me neither. I guess we should keep an eye out for more information. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything. You head home. Red Rose. Don't know why you would need that. I don't know why you would need cloth to make vodka. Okay. Um, let's do real ones. Sorry, that was curly. Though I could use your help. An appraiser is coming to assess my inheritance and I don't wish to be alone with him. Will you come? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Hey, I got a new job. Congrats. Thanks, smiley face emoji. A steady income is going to be nice. Meet me at... Bravur... Bravur? B bra Vura and I'll treat you to dinner. Sure. S smiley face emoji. Isaac. The company I invested in is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Slicer, the dating app for weapons. Will there be monsters? 
No, no, we weapons can do more than fight monsters, no. Would you be the honor of being my date? As a friend. Understood. I could really use a friend right now. I'll be at the Verona Hotel Ballroom. See you there? Oh, I guess we're going. It's almost time to leave to meet Isaac at his investor party. You realize you aren't sure what to wear to an investor's par party. Something serious? You dress with precision. Every <laughs> garment in perfect alignment. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, you put <laughs> the first outfit back on and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with an unusual crowd of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight, are you on the list? They're with Brooks Associates. Cameron knows everyone, huh? Isaac squeezes your hand and leads you into the party. I love your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Your support means so much to me. All this is for you? Me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gala was for his favorite charity. What is it? Where is he? That's not a good idea, Isaac. A familiar fate. No! Go away, Eric! No one likes you! I see Slicer invited true IPs. Cameron, is this weapon your date? None of your business. Ah, but this is exactly my business. Have you seen his blade? It's so fine and straight. What does that even mean? I'm standing right here. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone loves a sharp, dressed man. Hmm. Now, if you excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. How does that ass know you anyway? He owns a weapon shop. Oh my, so there's more to this story. What is this hellscape? The whiskies all have multiple malts. The horror. Good evening, father. Can we have a calm, civil discussion? This is most certainly not the foundation of dogs attending Harvard. I'm sorry? You told me Dr. Muffin the Third would be here. Uh, well, some of these people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't even graduated high school from what I, I'm seeing. Someone taps the microphone and the music is turned off. A slicer executive takes the stage and starts talking about the prophet and sword smooching. Vincent marches out the door. A slicer exclusive starts listing all the hardship they overcome and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name and a special thank you for his gen generosity. You know, it's like Isaac smiling to himself as the speech ends. Someone turns the music back up and the floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also re reduce inheritance, but where'd my father go? He left. Of course he did. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistants are talking. And that's when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Wow, that's hilarious. Father? Oh, uh... Hey, Isaac, I'm gonna go. Ah, my worthless son. Are you done with your farce? I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing 
over how much money others have. Why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner. Unless, don't tell me, you're dating this di disaster. Excuse me, I, per I prefer the term hot mess. Vincent gestures in the general <laughs> direction without looking at you. I don't... I don't really want to say I'm the disaster. I want to say I'm the disaster. <laughs> Leave Cameron out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. Funding these boars isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. Vincent gets into a town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction. I guess. You okay there, bud? I'm alright. I knew this was going to happen. All I wanted is a good job, but nothing is ever simple with him. Come on, let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your val your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. Hold on. Why isn't saying that Boyfriend Dungeon isn't making any audio? Hey Zori. Is BF is BFD not making any audio? Is it not making audio? There we go. That should be hooks. He offers you with his elbow with a small bow. Love rank three. Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. And perhaps a small gift for a special friend. Yeah, I got Flay Hour. I was wondering if the audio was working. The audio for the game, Grandma. It wasn't seeming to pick up the audio from the game. I bought you that little thing. I don't know if it's her style, but I'd like you to have it. Thanks! Wonderful. Now let's see what kind of music that DJ started to play. Hmm? Fair. You really join the party and spend the rest of the evening together. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't change the delay. Uh. 
I had a great time last night. Thanks again for coming. Thanks for inviting me. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. Seven. Thanks again. Doctor says any damage I took will heal itself soon. What are you up to? Don't know. Doesn't matter. Want coffee? Coffee's fine. I'll be at kicks. Well, let me see if I can fix that. I don't know if I can fix it midstream, but we'll figure it out. I have low latency turned on. I don't I don't know why the delay is so long. Dress. Beverage heals more. Achoo! Uh oh. We'll do the beret. So is a mine trap. Now we're good. Enjoy food. Let's go talk to Rowan. The mansion's front door does not have a doorbell. Only a raven headed door knocker. Knock gently. The door is cold against your fingers as you nervously tap it. The door swings open. It seems kind of dark inside. Uh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Horse chuckle raps from within the mansion. I think that's Crowley. Nothing more. Only this and nothing more. Okay, Crowley. You hesitantly step inside, but it's so dark that it takes your eyes a moment to adjust. <laughs> Horse chuckle raps from a shadow. Nothing more. Only this and nothing more. 
Hush. Crowley, no jokes right now, please. Please don't mind him. Thank you for coming. The tea is nearly ready. Nothing more. You find you're sitting in a room that smells dusty. Of dusty feathers and moldy fabric. Good day. The appraiser will be here soon. Don't let him walk all over us, alright? He seems both lonely and bitter, which is dangerous. Let's use a light touch. Follow my lead. You know him well? No. Not well, no, but he isn't subtle. Nothing more. He thinks he is hero font or maybe justice, but he's just a knight of swords. Nothing more. A knock on the door interrupts you both, which then opens. Well, hello, lovelies. I wasn't expecting Cameron as well. You're a scythe for sore eyes. Uh, I want to throw my controller so hard because this mother is everywhere. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I censored myself when I said motherfucker. Are you here to bid on the estate items as well? Let's I'll let everyone answer. You sip your tea. Delicious layered! And Rowan meets your eye with a small, grateful smile. Cameron is my associate serving as a witness. That is all. Would you like the tea? I harvested the leaves just this morning. No. I'd rather not waste time, no matter how exciting. My store has to be closed while I'm here, after all. Let's just see the blades and be done with it. Rowan brings out a long silk wrap package. They wrap that they unwrap to reveal a sword and a sickle. They're fairly heirlooms from the British side of the family. Well, the sword is in the style of ancient Britain around 2,000 years ago. It's a fine work. It's fine workmanship for a replica. I give you $300 for it. Rowan clears their throat and speaks almost too quietly to be heard. No. It's not a replica. Ugh. This isn't a 2,000 year old sword, my dear NB. Be reasonable. It's the blade that Bodica wielded when she defeated the Romans and chased them from the whales. Uh. Eric blinks, then blinks again. He clears his throat awkwardly, gathering his thoughts. First of all, Bodica didn't defeat the Romans, they defeated her. Sadly. Oh. Imperialist propaganda. Second of all, if you think this blade is more than 50 year old, you're dumber than you look. I wish there was an option to slap him. I need I, I need that option right now. How do you know? It's my profession to know whether Rowan is trying to deceive me or has been deceived is immaterial. You have a, certif a certificate or some other documentation I can expect? Rowan doesn't respond. Eric snores and turns his attention to the sickle. Here, there is a bit of family resemblance. What is this? A cousin? You tell me. Hmm. Well, it's potentially a bit older than the other, maybe a hundred years or so. What is this crest? You're the expert! Now, now, don't sulk. It ruins your pretty forehead. The crest adds a bit of exotic flavor, not many collectors of sickles, so it'll also be $300. I see. Hmm. So do we have a deal? You won't get a better... Offer any Never more. <laughs> Never more. Tell your pigeon to let the adults do the negotiation, and I'll increase my offer to three fifty. Facts. Look, if you think being called a a pigeon is an insult, you're hopeless. Everyone knows pigeons are the most romantic birds. 
you should just go. That's fair. Doves are a type of pigeon. Ah. 400. That's my final offer. Why not reap the benefits of my expertise? Hmm? <sighs> I said leave now. Eric hesitates and looks to you, a flinty defiance in his eyes. <laughs> oh, let's just... We're just gonna... Your tea seems to <laughs> taste even better as you watch Rowan transform. Ah! You're not the tarp sharpest tool in the shed, are you, Eric? Eric makes a hasty exit. Ah, uh, well, I should have known better than to trust a profane merchant. Besides which, his aura seems to be sickening, as if it were rotting. I wouldn't have sold them to him, even for millions. I was mostly curious. What will you do? I wish Alice were here to tell me what to do next, but then I wouldn't have this problem, hmm? Crowley preens Rowan's hair gently, making a soft clicking noise. <laughs> Thank you for your support today. Ah, uh, dread. Gravity wells also do dots. Gravity wells explode. Oh, let's do explode. You said you wanted to wield me for love before today. You spoke up on my behalf, but also let me steer the conversation. I appreciate it. I don't know how I've earned your loyalty, but I'm glad I have it. No. Decide not to give a gift Goodbye. right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Crowley, that's a bit abrupt, but yes, I look forward to the next dungeon if you want to wield me. Perhaps you can go scythe seeing. Oh my god, three scythe puns. To be fair, the third one's always the funniest. Farewell. Excellent. Good day then. You head home. You and Eric have an unhealthy resonance. I would avoid him if I were you. I'm trying. And yet his orbit grows tighter. Take care. This would like him to leave me alone. Let's talk to Seven. You see Seven sitting alone, poking at his phone. Oh, it's you. Hey. Seven puts away his phone and looks at you expectantly. So, there is an awkward silence. Uh. So, what's your flavor, blade, blade generation of them? <laughs> what's blade generation? Seven smiles as if at a joke. Oh. Wait. You're serious. Um, my generation is my band. Come hurry up. Dumb platinum. No big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy. Do you watch net TV? I like to show out. Hmm. It takes hard work to achieve anything, though, though doesn't it? Oh well, since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. Would you like to offer a gift? Nah. You decide not to give a <laughs> gift right now. So we're done here then? Let's done sometime? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could try that out, I guess, but... Seven shrugs. I'm pretty busy. I have to prep for our comeback in the uh. fall. I don't know if I can risk going back into the dungeon. My agent will sue me if I got any scars. He takes a sip from his coffee and makes a face. What's the matter? Yeah, I mean, not really, but uh. they used the wrong milk. Ask them to fix it? Nuh uh. The talk to a stranger? No. More than I have to? No way. That's the mood, Seven. Huh? 
Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover for me. The cashier approaches your table nervously. Mm. Oh, sorry to bother you, but you are Seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. Seven looks at you, <laughs> out, shakes his uh, head slightly. There is panic in his eyes. Real mood. You're mistaken. Uh -uh. No way. I know that bias records face anyway. Wait, that oh means. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Blade Generation is in Verona! Huh? Maybe even Sung Wu is here too. Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Olivia rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. You okay there, fam? Yeah. Whatever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Thanks for having my back. Later. Though. Guess there's still the dunge if you want to. The monsters won't bring paparazzi. That's fair. Seven slouches out, met by an expensive looking car outside. You head home. Never going to kicks again, so hope you have other ideas. Movie? It's dark? Good idea. Maybe sometime. I'll think about it and get back to you. Oh, Seven and Sunder are talking apparently. You find Sunder throwing a glove on the ground in front of Seven. What? Whose glove isn't here? Whose glove even is that? Do you only have one? Uh. Shh, it's more dramatic this way. I hereby challenge you to a dance battle. Seven keeps poking at his phone. Um. Hey, dude, with the number after six. Hello. Dance battle challenge here? Yeah. I heard you. One second. This is important. Ugh. Sunder bites his lip. Expression getting stormier. <laughs> yes. High score. <laughs> okay. Let me get this straight. You want me, a professional dancer, to spend my time dancing here in public for you. Uh huh. Yes. That'd be five thousand dollars. Hey. What? No. I will show you I'm the better, sexier dancer. Though you're a friend, and you can cut me in on sale tickets to the event, so I'd say three. Hmm. Yeah, my agent will probably approve it for three thousand plus royalties. <laughs> That's absurd. Be respectful, Sunder. <laughs> I am. Challenging someone to a battle is the highest form of respect. Uh. Some of us have a real job, Sunder. You're both spoil sports. Oh, hmm. well. Waste of a good lost and found glove, though. Hope to see you in the dungeon soon. Let me know if you need me. You all go your separate ways. Let's go to Resto Brava. You find Jonah sitting alone at a table, fidgeting with a napkin. Hey. Oh, hey. Cameron, glad you can make it. This place is too fancy to be alone in. <laughs> too fancy for me, too. Really? Well, we can fake it together then, and nobody needs to know. <laughs> I can afford it tonight because this is, well, this is where I work. I'm Bravura's newest employee. We're gonna call him a chef. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. I mean, sorta. I'm the newest sous chef. Sous means something in French. I should look that up. Eric! 
go the fuck away. It means under because you're working under a real chef. Obviously. Um. Um, hey, thanks. Hi, Eric. You're here for dinner, too? No, I just hang out in restaurants in the evening inspecting the cutlery. Yes, of course I'm here for dinner. It's a shame I don't have a date like Cameron to share it with. Go away! It's not too late to switch tables, mon cher. I have a free seat. Nah. It was a joke anyway. Enjoy your meal. I recommend the tatar. Hey, incel, go away. Do you want to join us? I'm sure the ta waiter won't mind. What, and be the third wheel to a jellyfish? No, thank you, Jonah. I have an image to uphold. Eric swans deeper into the restaurant without looking back. Ah, Eric, you were so much cooler back in the day. Yeah, anyway, sous chef, I prepped the ingredients for cooking. Lots of chopping and slicing and dicing. Um, and we sit by swing. Let's do stun. A sous chef, a second sous chef wields me. It's sort of refreshing using my weapon side for something productive. When I was a teen, my mom and I would chop firewood sometimes. But it was mostly just for fun. Honestly, nobody needs their firewood in Verona Beach, but they do need food chopped. That must feel good. Yeah. It does, actually. Thank you. I just wish the head chef would lighten up a little. She gets really stressed out, like, way too much. She even insults people in the kitchen sometimes, throws things at them. Not my vibe. Anyway, what's going on from you? Any news from the dungeon front lines? Your meal and rise, and chat while you eat. The pasta is homemade and the sauce rich. You barely managed to finish your plate. Hmm. Want to share a dark chocolate cake or... Mm, I don't know how to pronounce it. Mm, let's get to... Absolutely, waiter, two chocolate cakes. We all, we have needs here. We savor the bittersweet chocolate together in all its fluffy yet crunchy ganache-laden textures. That was perfect. I mean, I don't know if this is actually worth ten times my own cooking, but it was an experience. But the employee does counter it only costs nine times as much as my cooking anyway. Cha-ching! <laughs> I guess I still have to go to the den sometimes if I want to afford board wax. Uh, uh, may I walk you home? It's good to walk after such a rich meal. Yes, friends! Cool. You wander home companionably, enjoying the crickets in the evening breeze. Ah, and this is your place. Huh? Well, thanks for a fun night tonight. I hope we can hang out as friends again sometime. If you, uh, want to. Bye. Night. Y you go upstairs and fall into bed. That was my fave dinner in ages. Even if I could feel my boss watching me. Thanks for celebrating with me. Fingers crossed this job works out. Gotta practice my chopping and dicing, so see you in the dungeon. Oh. Uh, Jonah in seven. Hmm. Oh, I have. Okay, I have the tickets. Do you want popcorn or something? Uh huh. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I'm good. But hey, Cameron's here. You want to join us? We're seeing Double Edged. The movie's about a wielder who sneaks into a weapons only mafia to rescue his partner. Yeah. The reviews are pretty good for an action movie. movie. Excellent fight choreography. I'll buy your tickets. My treat. 
sure if there's snacks. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's all for you and Jesse, though. You all head in and watch the movie together. The lead seems unusually muscular for a librarian, but his love for his cute baseball bat boyfriend makes you smile. Hell yeah. We stand, gay people. At one point, sush someone shushes your snack much munching. Jonas shushes the bag. A thrilling moment follows a whole arsenal chasing the wielder. Over rooftops and through blacksmiths. At the climax, the wielder outsmarts the mafia boss in a showdown between baseball bat and broadsword. As the credits roll, you find you breathe a sigh of relief. Love wins again, it seems. Not bad, right? I love the transformation effects. The real thing is less impressive. It feels cool, you know, though? Yeah, it's like the CG stands for cool and glamorous. And they made the mafia boss so easy to hate. Like when she grabbed her lieutenant's hilt without asking? Anyway, thanks for the invite, Sev. It's fun. Let's watch again sometime. Let's watch something again sometime. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. See ya. Later, cuz. Return to your afternoon walk. I am scared to go in to that. Yeah, let's take seven. Down to floor nine. Going down. Woo! Drown them all. Deeps. I hope we weren't followed. No. Into walls. But it's so fun. Honestly, like the combos with this weapon are just. We will, we will rock you. living in school since I was eight, but I still have some memories. Growing up in BB, this function was my favorite. We didn't have money to shop with, but I would take off my shoes and play. I miss that. Just being a kid, you know? Not having to worry about how you look. Hmm. That's a stupid to think about. Never go back. Our past is part of who we are. Yeah, that and the stupid brand we can seek and do. Uh. Whatever. I shouldn't complain. I'm, I'm lucky, I guess. Let's go in here. Can we go? No, no. Stock. 
processor? Yeah, it was. Change weapon. Uh, let's do Jonah. How about a movie? I could go for horror or action. Horror! Yeah, okay. How about we see the dungeon? It has a showing at 6.30 most nights. I heard it's good. Let me know. Yeah, let's go! Meet inside. Don't bring the fan club. <laughs> you, find, you and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. The film features a group of teens lost in a darker, bloodier dungeon than you have ever seen. <laughs> Yeesh, and none of them can turn to swords? Bad strategy, kids. The monsters kill the end. Most annoying team first. Thank God. Before long, the sidekick dies in seven rounds. Eventually, all but one of the teens die horribly, and the survivor narrowly escapes. Lights come up and you leave the theater. Ah. Uh, maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. Hmm. What do you think? I like more realism. <laughs> well, you knew it wasn't de 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 a, de a documentary. Hell, it changed light and stuns. Well, hi guys. I totally didn't know he would be here. Hey! Seven makes a face as if leaving silently for rescue. Bye, Olivia! I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but but I'm worried to give you something. Seven, I wrote I wrote this personal letter. Yeah. Alright, I'll take it. Fans are important. Uh-uh. Or no, that is, sorry, can you deliver it for me? Seven blinks. It's her Sung Woo, my ultimate bias. Can you give it to him for me? Pretty, pretty, please. He stares at her for several seconds. Nuh uh. <laughs> Seven walks away. Huh? Wow, fame has sure gone to his head, huh? Olivia holding an envelope, Sung Woo written on it with hearts for O's. Just have to figure out where Sung Woo sting, I guess. That's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it either. Hmm. She sighs dramatically and wanders away. You head home. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. So I had to go, sorry. TTYL. Um, crafty. A night, a warm cup of tea in the form of a sign. Puts most monsters to sleep. Let's do that one. <sighs> Certainly want to finish this dungeon. Back to nine. Malls on this continent are so low tech.
teddy bear. Let's go. look freezer burnt. It looks fresh. Handmade even. Uh. I'm not supposed to. Ice cream's like the best way to gain weight. That and rice. It could be our secret. Ha, I wish my agent has an app that tracks my vitals. Mm. And she can fire me if I gain even two pounds. So there's no such thing as an ice cream secret. That's okay, I'll keep an eye out for other secrets we can share. <laughs> he smiles slightly at some unspoken thought. Now we have work. Nah, uh, thanks. have an encore? Um, before we do, we're gonna go for the next floor. Oh, cloth, I need cloth. back to it if we need to.
Still thinking about that movie. The characters are so stupid. Don't go alone when there's monsters. Fictional characters make the worst decisions. World makes a good story. Thumbs down. <laughs> so if someone writes my bio bi biography. Will they make me look dumb to sell more copies? I hope not. Oh well. <laughs> Sugar and plastic make the teddy bear. Oh, there's a jacket. Hell, yeah. Oh, great. Oh good, we can go to level 11. I went down! Woohoo! Don't overdo it just to impress me. Okay. Let's go 
I think we're fine for now. Yes. We're at a boss.
surprised. <sighs> that was a whole lot of... Ancient game me comp tickets to a concert. I'll probably be awful. Some newbie locals doesn't even have light sticks. Not that you'd need one since I'll be there. Whatever, wanna go with me? Sure. Okay, it's at La Rosa. Meet you there. Um, I don't hang out. Let's go back to the sign. Go to La Rosa. Hey. Hey. Ready to laugh at some small town garbage? Together. Hey. Everyone starts somewhere. <laughs> oh wow, you're that naive, huh? It's cute. In today's music world, most superstars are manufactured. The discovery discovered indie is a myth. Sorry to burst your bubble. It'd be nice if it were true. Hmm? You both here for Marsky and Queen? Seven. Seven. Seven of what? I only see two of you. No, my name. It's seven on the list with Blade Generation. Oh. oh, yes, sir. The bouncer waves you inside. You bump into someone at the entryway and lose sight <gasps> of seven. <laughs> it's always Eric! Imagine meeting you here. Out on yet another date. Come on, Cameron. This doesn't impress me. I liked being your first date. I liked your inexperience. And oh, I need an adult. I'm an adult, but I need an adult here. Adult. Ugh. Nobody likes well-used weapons or people. You should be more discerning. Yeah, leave me alone. Ha, you always play hard to get. Classic Cameron. Hey, I know this creep. You don't take no for an answer, do you? I got approached by a lot of fans, so I wouldn't normally remember. Uh. Except this guy took it so personally, he basically threw a fit. Pathetic. Hmm. I'm so sorry if I'm a romantic who believes in courtship. It's not courtship if Cameron isn't interested, so back off. Ugh. You think you're so great? I was friends with Cameron before you, so enjoy sloppy second. Nuh-uh. I said back off or else. You do violence, little sword man, against a knight templar? I might. This is your final warning. <laughs> the crowd parts around you, holding their breath to see what happens next. Hmm. I'm gonna need you both to step outside. Eric flees, pushing concert goers out of his way in his rush. No problem here, sir. Do that again, and I'm blessed blacklisting you. I don't care how famous you are. Mm -hmm. Seven takes a deep breath and exhales slowly. Thanks, fam. Seven shrugs and doesn't respond, looking away. The crowd chooses two figures take the stage. It's Mark, Sia, and McQueen. They don't introduce themselves. They just start in, head down into the music. You and Seven bob to the rhythm. The crowd around you starts to dance. The duo plays a long set deep into the night. Afterwards, as the crowd filters out, Seven squeezes your hand. <laughs> that was actually cool. I forgot that I used to like going to concerts. Ooh, yeah. Chain Island. Chain Island. 
Uh, it's so refreshing to see what who people who care about the music and not their ego. Thanks for coming. It felt good to yell at that creep. I have been the baby of the group for so long. It felt good to be scared. Ugh. I'm so sick of using Iago. Iago. You don't even uh. know. Though I was kind of venting too. It's not all Eric's fault. I got some bad news tonight. You okay? I don't know mm. yet. Sungwoo, the front man of Blade Generation, he's changing his name. His name is gonna be Lucky. Can you believe that? So stupid. It's an English word, even though that's that's my thing. It was the only thing that made me special to the group. Now, I'm nothing. Ugh. It's like I don't even matter to him, to our agent, to anyone. Have you talked to him? Nah, -uh. nah I can't just call him. I can't. It's not how we do things. I wish I could just... I don't know. I trusted Sungwoo, so his betrayal hurts. But it's more than that. It feels like my whole career is a joke to them. Destroy at a moment's notice. Mm. I spent all this time faking it till I made it. And I was just a nobody after all. His eyes glitter wet with unshed tears. He gets a hug. We hug our friends. He leans into your arms, swallowing the tears. Eventually he pulls back. Uh, I had some extra apples, so I thought you might want some. He presses a small bag of peeled chopped apples into your hand. Later. Um, I have to go. It'd be good to dunge later to, uh, take the edge off. Thanks for tonight. Head home. God, that Eric guy. You actually dated him? I don't care if you date under other people. But that guy? Bleh. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, sorry for teasing you. I'm lucky you didn't give up dating forever. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed your apples. I enjoy apples. Why did I say apples like that? Um, weapon info. Oh, oh, combos. I need to go to the gym. Yeah, let's do dot. Eleven. Keep your eyes open. Everything means more than it seems. <laughs> was a lot of damage. Hell yeah. I like that. I can't say I'm completely surprised. I just got two shot! That's not fair! I got two shot! Back to the grind. Back to the grind. Is this what shopping feels like?
and lifelong more, you just need rest and relaxation. You each pick an ice cream. Rowan nibbles half heartily at a strawberry cone. <laughs> ah, ice cream. A true delight, once reserved for only kings and pharaohs. Now every child tastes it, before they're old enough to even know what it is. Is that bad? No. Not per se. I just try to cultivate gratitude to appreciate how comfortable my life is. I say try, because I don't always succeed. It's difficult to be grateful when you lose the people you love. They're silent for a moment, ice cream slowly melting. Thank you for this companionable time together. That is gratitude I can feel easily. Woo, ice cream! Cupcake recipe. today though. Oh well. Um, try again later. Just wanna finish this dungeon. It's surprising to me, but I started looking forward to our outing. Is it strange to be- to want to be used? What? <laughs> Not so strange? <laughs> Good, I think it was strange enough already. Even so, maybe we should have an outing that isn't functional. Maybe I've been sp spending too much time with the moon. Let's get some sun at the park. Sure, thank you. Uh To the park. You find Rowan staring off into the distance as a cat creeps up on them. Crowley seems nervous. Nothing more. Nothing more. The cat hunches down, ears flat, eyes fixed on Crowley, ready to pounce. Wait and see. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, little feline. <laughs> Crowley makes a low call, a bit like laughter. 
least the last cat that tried to eat Crowley lost an eye, I believe. The orange cat pauses, tail lashing. Finally, the cat turns and walks away nonchalantly, as if entirely unconcerned. See, Crowley? No need for violence, bro. Words have power. Now, what about you, Cameron? How will you handle the forces that hunt you? I'm being hunted? Yes. Surely, at the very least, we're all hunted by death. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Alice, my grandmother, which is the strongest witch I'll probably ever meet. And even she wasn't enough. But I feel unprepared for how to care for her effects. The physical things all clean up nicely. But what about her digital Pretty remains? bird. Hush. Uh, Crowley. I know you put your pictures online for all to see. <laughs> no shame. Uh, he has too many followers as it is, Cameron. Don't encourage him. Now that you think of it, you realize you've seen Crowley before in a few viral videos. Pretty bird. Alice was, on, was also active on the line. On a line? Online? Many profiles and comments and so on. In the real world, our oils and tracks are worn away, much as our spiritual energies fade on that plane. Mm. Is it the same for digital traces, or are they permanent? It depends on the website. Ah, <sighs> uh, you know the animal side of me wants her marks to be permanent, but she didn't fade. It will also make it harder to let her go, and she would want me to move on. She was a big believer in growth. Her weapon shape was even a garden trowel. Sorry, you probably, you're probably tired of me talking about her. I just don't have anyone else to talk to. Oh my god, that's so sad. You know what I mean. Someone who isn't also grieving. Someone more normal. But maybe my sense of normal is a bit skewed. How often do you think about death? All the time. <laughs> Good as it should be for someone who works in the dungeon. If one deals death as a profession, such as a, as a wielder, it's irresponsible not to consider the consequences. But on the other, even more clarifying activities for, for growth, love magic, for example. I've done some calculations, and it seems we may have compatible energies. Which um. would you enjoy it if our bodies were? <laughs> Oh god, saying this out loud, uh, religious, ri ritualistically, but also physically? Maybe? <laughs> see? Sorry, I see, I can see I startled you. Let me ask this in a different way. Hmm. Would you be interested in a kiss? We may or may not explore sex later as you wish. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna have a kiss. Rowan seems startled, blinking with sudden vulnerability. Yes. I'm glad my love magic calculations were correct. We'll grow so much together, I think. Pretty human. <laughs> Pretty? <laughs> Crowley, please, have some decency. <laughs> they lean into each other for a soft, comfortable warmth spread. Nam, 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 nam. You lean into each other, feeling a soft, comfortable warmth spread from where your skin touches. You share a quiet, sunlit kiss. You think you feel Latin words whisper from their lips. Okay. When an enemy dies, get a brief damage boost. Ooh. Rowan spends a few moments just looking at your face. Thoughtful. Farewell. I have a lot to think about. Thank you, Cameron. Bless me. You head home. I got a, a bit sunburned, but I'm glad I saw you and had the bravery to ask you. I'll be thinking of that kiss for some time. Does this mean you'll forgive me for how we met? Yes. That's relieving. I never want to wrong you again. For now, the dungeon awaits us. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Come on! I'll beat this dungeon eventually! Come on, Sunder. Smells like fresh meat. Let's do it. Nothing like massage to loosen up all those tight muscles. You both sit in the massage chair as they begin to vibrate and need your back. Mm. He relaxes the massage machine. Too soon it's over. It looks like Sunder has fallen asleep. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> Round two. It's not effective the second time. Oh, there's no rush. It's over. You see Sunder has woken up from the long last. Sunder stretches like a cat and finally stands up. <laughs> All right, ready to go. Would you like to offer a gift? No. Let's go. Got places to go, people to murder. Accidentally. Putting myself killed. We started. Well, I'll save that for later.
Ska! Hey, whoa, careful. Hi, I'm Sawyer. Sorry I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. My memory's fuzzy. And my head hurts like crazy. I feel like something's missing. It's weird. Your blade is cracked. Huh. I guess I should go to the hospital and call my mom. Or my blacksmith. Hmm. But all that has to wait because I'm late to history class. Oh, tardy. My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. But, um... Maybe I could buy you lunch to say thanks. Here's my number. Bye for now. They hurry away towards the exit. Dungeon and we got a little. Hi, nice meeting you. It's so cool to meet another non binary person, and you're so powerful too. Prayer emoji. Anyway, I don't know if you're free, but I could buy you breakfast or lunch. Check it. It's my favorite place. Smiley face emoji. Sure. Perfect. See you there. Looks like there's another dungeon near La Rosa. That idiot Thunder will probably get himself killed down there. Good thing he has you to save him. Leave me alone! Jesse said he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. He wouldn't tell me. So. <laughs> what? Oh, I need advice. Who's my boyfriend? Is it Seven? What's wrong with the boyfriend? I think he's lying to me. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Not to my baby. He's not. 
You don't talk to that person anymore. You deserve better. Maybe the people are bad company. I know it's easier said than done, but take care of yourself. Good luck out there, sweetie. Thanks. Heart emoji. <laughs> Smiley face heart emoji. Hey, I'm getting some weird vibes from my basement. I mean my club's basement. It's always been creepy, but this is different. I think I saw a monster down there. I'll check it out. Cool, thanks. It doesn't seem like the monsters will come upstairs, so we could just dance and ignore them, I guess. Let me know if you need someone to wield rose emoji. I've been thinking a lot about- and I decided for sure I don't want you to die. Thanks, question mark? <laughs> oh, prayer emoji. So yeah, you want to hang out? Summer nights are the best. No death allowed. Double knife emoji. Okay! <laughs> Meet you at nine. Meet you at the beach at nine. Sunglasses emoji. I got a bucket. I'm still missing glue. Be on a leisure way. Oh, I could buy glue. However, I want, want to buy cardigans. Let's see which one's the best. Ooh. I like this one. Looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up by doing all of the dates that I have. So we're gonna do Sunders first. Hey. You will find Sunder and Mandy sitting on our dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woo! Are we celebrating? Uh huh. Yeah, being alive is the best, right? Uh. I wouldn't recommend it. You know, most people are dead, statistically. That's a lot of people, really. A lot. Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should hmm. be. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that would be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers, everyone. <sighs> Are you really trying to be more goth than me? Nah. No. I'm being really anti goth now, right now, Mandy. Keep up. I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Why all this death stuff? Why not? It's all around us. That's what being alive means, right? Dying. What about books and mountains? They're not alive, but they're way better than people. What about you, Cameron? Do you think about death often? Why does everyone keep asking me this? You spend time chatting, looking out over the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there's a silence and Mandy clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Mandy looks at you 
curious. Cat food. I like my food fresh and locally sourced. Verona Beach has a few options. Hey! Cut it out, Mandy. What? You haven't told poor Cameron about our little hobby? Ugh. Ugh. Man, you just go home if you're feeling antsy. Suit yourself, just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up fast in summer. Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. <laughs> Sunder sighs, apparently at a loss for words. Nah. My hobby. I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. A cold breeze comes from the ocean, chilly against your skin. Well, I do. He pointingly ignores what you said and instead rubs your arm instantly. Sunder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction helps you relax a little. He takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulders. And apparently I have cool shades. <laughs> hey, I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use. Thanks. Hmm. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It's not like we're in a relationship anyway, right? Just friends, so... Looks like he's starting to shiver. Let's just forget about this and I'll walk you home where it's warm. You walk together through over on a beach until you arrive at your building. You give him back his jacket, he puts it back on gratefully. I know you're probably furious with me right now, but just listen for a second, okay? <laughs> Poor Manny ran her mouth. I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually around now, I get the summertime blues, but with you, I feel so alive. Bleeding does more damage. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. Uh... I know you said you weren't interested in me that way, but... I'd kick myself if I didn't ask. Can I come up later? I said we're just friends. I must have gotten carried away. Whoops. Naughty me. Night. Hotness. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. Slipped up. I'm bad at this. Night. Uh, friends person. He saunters into the night, and you climb the stairs home. I just wanted to say, you're cooler the more I get to know you. Even when I make you mad, so thanks. Question mark, rose emoji. Not welcome. Ouch, well, after you get over it then, let's touch. <sighs> Is there anyone else I have a date thing on? Just Sawyer. Soldier Sawyer. You are about to find Sawyer and Olivia arguing. Ugh. No more freebies. You haven't worked here for like a year. <gasps> Come on, just one more measly sandwich. I owe a friend big time. Please. It's your friend Cameron by chance. Huh? How'd you know? Hi! Oh, hi, Cameron! I'm just paying for his book. Um... Sawyer digs in their pockets for money. Blushing. Oh, here, I found this. How many of these can I give you? They hold up five lumps of sugar in their palm. Olivia shakes her head. Sawyer seems slightly panicked. Uh uh. No, no, Cameron. Put your money away. Sawyer. I swear to all the gods, this is the last time, okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks, you're the best, Olivia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. 
You sit at a table. It doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to, has anything to eat. No. Want to split this? No, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, you can see their eyes tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop staring. No, no, don't slow down. Sorry, let's talk about something else. Um, I swallow hide and revert their eyes. Just have some at your more forceful invitation. Loyal Lil Sawyer takes half and moves it in two bites. Thanks. Good stuff. Uh, uh here. I want you to have these, okay? Let me give you a few sugar lumps. You awkwardly stuff them in your pocket. Sawyer smiles, pleased with themselves. Hey, I was looking online yesterday, and a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are getting chipped lately. Hmm. Maybe there's something about the dry summer heat that makes us brittle? I think someone's doing this. Yep. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to say! Probably, though, I don't want to stay in the dungeon longer in class. So like your eyes wander back to the plate where only crumbs remain. A wild cat growl erupts from underneath the table. Is there an animal loose in here? After a moment, you realize it's Sawyer's stomach. Uh, sorry, jeez. Even after you shared your sandwich with me, to be honest, I can't afford to eat much. I had a good job for a while and I get free rent from mom, but it's hard. How do people afford eating anyway? Is everyone rich? Restaurants are so expensive. And they rip people off. Scones only like cost like 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. I'm in a business class and it seems to me that someone could disrupt that market easily. <laughs> Cut out the middleman, buy the ingredients yourself. I can make an app that tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant would. You'd save costs by not paying a waiter or a hostess too. Boom. What do you think? You just invented cooking. Really? Oh yeah, cooking. That's what it's called. Ugh, this is all so dumb. I don't know. I hate business stuff, to be honest. I'm more into history class. I was just taking it for easy credits. But everyone in the class is so competitive. Hmm. I have to come up with an idea with a business idea for my semester project, and this is all I got. My next step would be document documenting the process cooking to use the technical term. Ugh. I don't even know how to boil an egg. I tried once and ended ended with a black husk. I know the basics. That's like a thousand times more than me. Would you show me how? Please. That would Whoa. be amazing. I could do a little research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for lessons. If I bring the ingredients, could we? Does it, will you? Do you think? Spit it out. Sawyer takes a breath and gathers the courage. Um, Is it a date? We'll see. Yep. Okay, I'll try I'll try to play cool, yeah? But I gotta get to history, but let me know when you're heading to the dungeon. I did some first aid on my crack blade and I'm ready to fight again. Bye! Bye! Ugh, my throat is hurting. So we'll read this heart emoji. Hmm. We're just friends, so is that too much? Yeah. Okay. Sounds like to boil an egg, you have to use a lot of water. Like a whole pot full. So that was my problem. You have a lot to learn. You bet! Thumbs up emoji. Okay, 
this is where we're gonna call it for tonight. <sighs> we'll see you all later. Have a good day. Bye.